Hello again, everyone. I'm here with a new fountain pen, or at least new to me, from Platinum. So I have a bunch of different Platinum fountain pens on my wish list, and two different fountain pens really went down in price, and I went ahead and got both of them. So I didn't do an unboxing of the previous one, but I'm gonna compare it to this, and I'll show you why when I open this up. So I already took the sleeve off of this container. It was a little bit hard to get off this time. I'm not sure why, it was really snug in there. And I purchased this from Pen Chalet, who I've purchased from before, and they've always been really great. The delivery is really fast, and uh, they have pretty good prices. So I'll show you here, when I open this, what it is. So this is, I think it's the Bourgogne, or uh, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of tough. But it is with a coarse nib, meaning uh, double broad. And the previous one I got, which I will bring out here quickly, is the green color, which I have now forgotten what it is, <laughs> what the name of it is, but this is in a broad. So I have a broad and a double broad to compare for you today. I have not seen a lot of comparisons of these two uh, widths of nib, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and do the video for you. So let's put that other one back over there for the time being. And they sent me a really cute sticker this time. I'm actually really stoked about the sticker and I'll have to find a place to put that. So in the box here, there is a whole bunch of stuff. I had already taken it out of the plastic sleeve, the pen itself, and then there's a user's manual. There's an extra little um, ink cartridge in here. Well, not extra, it's a ink cartridge. They only include one. There's a warranty card and all of that. So I'm gonna leave that inside this box and put the box aside. So one thing, I'm actually gonna put it back in the sleeve because I don't think I'll be getting back in there anytime soon on this video. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon because there's this little tag on here still. Let me see if I can get that off and then I will put that, oh my goodness, that's really on there. I will put that back in the box later. Okay, so um, one of the downsides to platinum fountain pens is that they do they, they do not include converters when you buy them. So I, at one point, had kind of stocked up on converters when um, I saw them for a really good deal on Amazon. Again, when you order from Amazon, it's always a, a sort of a risk, I would say, because things like that, like, are you getting the real deal? Who knows, but I got it in like a pack of four and it was really inexpensive. So I have some ready to go. This, and I've already put the, uh, so they come in gold and silver and I, I think I mostly have gold ones. Uh, so I went ahead and put the gold one in here because I figured it matched the trim, at least somewhat. Same is true for the other one that I have. And I've already picked out an ink, so I am going to ink this up and test it out for you today and compare it to the broad which is already inked up and I'll talk about the inks that are in there and that I've chosen once we get going here. But I did want to go ahead and show you the nib real quick. I'm going to show this close up. So if you'll see it, um, so depending on where you buy this sometimes they sell it as labeled as a double broad uh, or they'll label it as a coarse. But regardless of how you get it, it's gonna have a C here. I don't know if you can see that. It's gonna have a C there on the nib. Uh, but C, coarse is essentially double broad. I'm not quite sure why they call it coarse, to be honest with you. Um, so here's the underside of the nib. And you know, someday I might try uh, showing you these nibs with a loop. I do have a loop. I'm not sure how it would work with my camera, but um, one of these days I'll try and get that figured out. But there you go, it's a really pretty bulbous nib. And this nib is really good if you want to have a nib modification with a nib grinder because there's so much tipping material here that they have a lot to work with. So this is a good pen to get for that. I got it just a little bit over $100 on Pen Chalet and I purchased my green one for under $100 at Amazon. So, um, Amazon tends to have pretty good prices, but it seems like a lot of other companies also have good prices. One thing to note is they recently changed their, um, they, they updated their pens, and I, can't, I don't know if 
this one it, it looks like it is so so basically the um, the the wording around here it has a little bit of a different look let me see if I can get my other my medium platinum actually we might want to just go ahead and compare all three since I do have so I already have a so here's the medium nib um, and this is the older model, I believe. And you can see the writing on the, um, it's very, it's very, not very noticeable at all, but the writing is a little bit different. One is uh, like super etched in and one is just a little bit on the surface. So this is the older one and this is the newer one. Actually, I'm gonna get out all of my platinums, um, at least of the 3776, which is what this is. And um, so I have a music nib, a medium nib, and now I have broad and extra broad, or double broad, or coarse. So uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and compare all three of these. All three of these are inked up, and it sh they should still be good. But first, I'm going to ink this one up. And the ink that I have chosen is the Diamine Iridescent Robert, which has sort of a reddish undertone. I went ahead and decided to go with a really saturated ink, so we'll we'll see. Bold nibs, um, which this is, you would work really well with shading inks as well. I just uh, a lot of the pens that I've been trying, like super light shading inks in, just haven't turned out that well for me. Like I I haven't just I haven't liked the look of it. Um, I think that. I really like the look of shading inks in uh, stub nibs the most. So, with with the broad because it's because it's all sort of it's rounded. The tip is rounded. You're not getting that uh, little bit of a sharp edge that kind of. I think it kind of pushes around the color a little bit too. Whereas this lays down more evenly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip that down into the bottle, and I'm gonna go in and out a couple of times because the first fill is never the best. Usually, twice is usually all it takes with these, with the Platinums. And I really, really, oh, of course now I already have ink all over me. It's a very saturated ink, so that's definitely gonna happen. This is a little paper towel I had off to the side to wipe the nib off. As you can see, it definitely stained the nib a bit. Okay, so I want to kind of try and get some of that excess off that little area there where the nib is set into because otherwise it might get everywhere. Okay, so let's leave that as it is. And I don't even know, it might have been from either the nib or the bottle. I'm Like I said, some people say that you get past that phase of getting ink all over yourself when you ink your pens but it's been a while for me and it's I'm still getting ink all over myself so you know maybe some people just never get past that phase <laughs> which would be the true which would be true for me okay so I'm gonna close this up for a second while I get my Tomoe River notebook here and I am going to find a blank page here because we're gonna compare all of these to each other. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that. A little closer up. All right, and this should be a pretty broad line, but I am really interested to see the difference between this one and um, just a regular broad platinum. This is very broad, but it's beautiful. Platinum. 3776. Oh my goodness. Mm, I can't remember how that's spelled. I think it might just be with an E. Bourgogne. Um, and then this is the coarse nib. And then. This ink is beautiful with it. It matches very well. And let's see, this is the diamine. Iridescent Robert. 
And this is gonna flow, go through ink like crazy. My broad <laughs> goes through ink pretty, pretty crazily. Okay, and let's see, let's... Um... Okay, so there's just some uppercase. I'm not gonna do the whole um, fox jumping over the dog. We'll just do it this way. Okay, and then this is the, oh, there's quite a bit of difference, and actually I have a little hair in my nib. I was writing with it a lot recently, so that might have been, of course, now I have ink all over my fingers. So this is the Platinum 3776. I'm just gonna say green, green, because I don't know, and this is the bold nib. Clearly a huge difference between the two. Um, and this, what is the ink I have in here? This is another diamine ink. It is Season's Greetings. This was from last year's uh, uh, Inkfent calendar. Diamine Season's Greetings. And then I'm just going to do some alphabet here. So you can definitely see there's quite a bit of difference. Um, sorry about sort of messing up the name of the, of the color there. Let's see, which one is this? This, okay, so this is the medium. So this is the, this one seems so thin compared to the others. 76, uh, this is just the regular black, I'm not gonna say, so this is the medium nib. And, there you go. This just has a platinum blue cartridge in here. Okay, and then let's do. And then we'll do this last one, which will be kind of interesting to compare to the double broad as well, because this is the uh, music man. So this is platinum thirty-seven seventy-six with a music nib. So it's broader still. I would say it goes up in this direction you're gonna get some line variation depending on how you hold it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna write this way. So this has, I thought this had Verhut Violet in it, but I think it actually has, um, I think this is Sailor uh, Epinard. Pretty sure that's what's in here. And let's go ahead and do the alphabet. I'm gonna do a few letters this way. And then a few letters this way. All right, so let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see them all in the frame at the same time. So I probably should have done this first because this is clearly the most bold of all of them. And then you have the, uh, so you have the music nib, the coarse nib, the bold nib, and the medium nib, all on platinum 3776. I really like this pen. My only complaint about the pen, and maybe you can hear it, whenever it taps around, it kind of rattles a little bit with the, uh, probably doesn't do it as much. Well, still, it still rattles a little bit with the uh, the newer one definitely seems to rattle more. It doesn't rattle as much with just a cartridge in it, but yeah, these newer ones, um, mm, it's probably all about the same. So they, I feel like they're a little bit rattly, but the nibs write beautifully. 
And as you can see, there was a little bit of a hard start here with the uh, music nib, but I think that's really just because it's been a while since I used that. These have a, I think it's like a slip and seal system is what they call it. So it's supposed to keep your nib or your ink from drying out for over a year, I believe. Um, and as you can see, the ink is fine. It just took a little minute or a second even just to get started there with the nib. So, um, excellent. So these are all very different. They're different enough, certainly, to have any uh, any one of these in your collection or all of them. I'm, I'm super surprised. I would say that the double broad is twice as broad as the broad. Well, go figure, right? Um, and again, you might see this coarse nib, double broad nib. It might be labeled either way uh, when you're looking in uh, stores or on websites to order. But either way, it's really officially the coarse nib. So that is pretty awesome. All right. Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, I do have more fountain pens coming. <laughs> I, um, I've i stopped buying traveler's notebooks for the time being, and I have switched over to more fountain pens. So you'll probably see some more of those on the channel. But I did want to do this comparison just because I had all these handy. I was just going to do the bold nib comparison, but I figure why not with the other two since we have them all here. And then you can see the differences. I know there's a lot of videos out there that go through all the nib variations. Um, I don't have a fine. There's also an ultra extra fine, which I don't, I don't even know what I would use an ultra extra fine for, honestly, unless maybe sketching. But even then, it seems like it'd be way too fine. This is more sort of my comfort zone. Um, and I would say even this medium nib, because, well, these are Japanese pens, so they run a little finer. Uh, this medium nib is more like a fine in some brands, uh, but it's still beautiful. It's, it's smooth writer. You know, all of these write really, really well. I haven't been using this as much as I've been using these other two. Um, I just wrote, you know, a whole chapter in my Watership Down project with this bold nib and it wrote beautifully and I did have to fill up ink quite a bit. The the larger nibs, they really, they they soak up the ink they and they use it. Um, but the nice thing is that the converters for platinum are really quite great. I would, they're actually one of my favorite converters of any brand. Um, I would say probably followed by Sailor. Sailor's converters are not too bad either, but but these, they, they just work wonderfully and it's it's really nice to uh, be able to fill them really easily. If, you're, if you have a broad nib pen like these that are gonna run out of ink pretty fast. All right, so I think that's all I had for you today. I will uh, put links to these products down below. Um, I'll, I'll try to see where I, I prefer. I'll probably give you the Amazon links for all of these, which um, generally they have the best prices, but I'll also put a link to uh, Pen Chalet since that's where I got this most recent one, uh, just so you can see and whether you'd wanna get one of these. All right. So I'll see you next time. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, have a great day. Bye.